across the west Kellogg near the airport. The police say they're seeing in that area that's so concerning. Hey, y'all. Dave here. Boy, we already got 10 people in. All right. Phone's going off. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, now we got to turn that down just a little bit more. That's pretty loud. Like, you're going to have to go to 20, 20 pro. All right. Swing and a miss. Anyways, <laughs> I was watching what Naomi's watching on TV. Uh, let's go in and welcome everybody in. <clears throat> I am exhausted. Whoops. I'm sitting here messing with the wrong things. Come on, Dave. Function the button. All right. We got Mike Sampson. Welcome in, Sampy. Uh, Paul uh, Stewart Norman. The Incredible Bulk. Good morning, everybody. Tim Lude. Eddie, uh, I didn't see Ernest in there. Did you see River at 3030 in there? Oh, yeah, River at 3030. 351, Dale, Mike Irvin, Joshua, Deborah. Now we're back down to the bottom. All right. <coughs> I think I got everybody. If I missed anybody, sorry. Okay. So, like, what we got going on today is, as the thumbnail said, we're going to do guard dog giveaways. So, I uh, while you guys are in here saying howdy to everybody that's coming in, Canadian family, welcome in. Wild Japan. Everybody share this out. Um, all the mods, share it out. All the not mods, be patient. You'll be mods before too long if you keep coming in. And uh, if the mods would share out the Not Mods channels, this is all about sharing. Hey, misplaced country girl. Welcome in, Denise. Let's see who else is in here. I think that's just about everybody. All right. So uh, we're going to do some. Uh, whoop, my pen trying to run away. We're going to do guard dog giveaways. We're going to do four giveaways. And uh, so before people winning, I got to go open a new tab, go in and find the StreamYard tool did giveaway thing because I didn't find it, I didn't do it before. Oh, let's see if I can find it now. We have eight days until the opening pitch at River Park Plenty of sunshine, just a few high clouds. Gusty winds, gusty to 20 miles per hour riverfront. We're at 64 degrees. Now, compared to yesterday, talk about a lovely warm up. It's 14 degrees warmer in Wichita, 20 degrees warmer. Oh, I can't never find this stupid thing. Because every time I want to go in, it wants to take me to the. All right, go down below the dashboard. Go down in there and find. Yeah, I every time I do this, I can't find this stupid thing. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I am not good at the Google Internet stuff, guys. Just give me a minute. I will find what I'm looking for. This comes after Cake News investigates has exposed the unlivable conditions of one South Wichita apartment complex for nearly a year. We had a real focus on it this week as well, too. Casey Johnson, Super Decker's live outside of Emory Gardens Apartments. He's off of South Hydraulic with some of the details. Yeah, I found it. Good. It only takes me forever. All right, now we got it. 
get this in here and then I'll go back and catch back up with chat. All right. Uh, I'm going to be talking to some of the people on the committee. I think it's the Commerce Committee that would be hearing these bills. Um, I did talk to the chair yesterday, and he said, "Oh, I ain't even typing nothing." Okay, good. Okay. Okay. See this. Do this. Do this. Share screen. All right. <clears throat> we'll do it like that. <clears throat> there we go. Now I got it at. Don, welcome in. Have to bring my daughter to school operating today. And after that, we are sitting the night. All right outside. Oh, that's cool. A wild Japan. I see Mrs. Yak in there. I miss Yak. Yeah, everybody getting there. Hashtag guard dog pro or guard dog in there. Travis. I just don't want to miss nobody. Everybody getting their stuff in. Who's ready for gardening season? I'm ready for gardening season. I got my onions in. Dale. Trying to be different. <laughs> Shared you out, Dave. I well, appreciate it. All right. We're going to let that run for a little bit. I, uh, oh, I wasn't thinking, you know, I'm not really going to tie jigs, but I'm going to tie a few jigs just because y'all need to see some action and I need to tie some jigs. I'm not going to get carried away with them. I just have a few that I'm doing. And these ones are for myself, believe it or not, because I decided I'm going to sell that big box that I made the other day. So let's give a little show and tell while we're doing this, too. Well, look here, Mr. John Parker came in. So look at this box of jigs I got going here, y'all. Ain't that pretty? I'm going to finish that out, and then I think I'm just going to put that one up for sale. But I was also doing this one. And this one, I'm kind of, this one I'm doing for myself. I decided I'm just going to do one for myself. So this one's going to be for myself. So we're going to finish off some of these jigs for myself. So while we're doing the whole guard dog giveaway, hopefully y'all get, uh, and then uh, I, uh, I don't know if I'll let I don't know if I should let you pick the color or if I should just give you whatever color I mail out to you, but I think I got enough envelopes. I wonder if those will those fit in there? They won't fit in there. Yeah, those will fit in there. All right, so I got four envelopes. So when y'all win it, I'll write your name on the envelope, and then I'll, I might let I might let you pick the color. But if you're really if you're really insistent on a certain color, we we got a couple colors. So this is what y'all are after. Y'all are hit, entering your hashtag. You got a, a orange. You got a green one. 
like a hunter green color. You got a blue one, and then you got a red one. So we'll set that. They're probably going to fall off of there, Dave. You better put them back up there. All right, and then you'll get a sticker from me. And if you've already got a sticker from me, you can stick it. You're still going to get another sticker from me. So, howdy, Stuart. I think I said hi to you, but if I didn't, Wendy Jane. Welcome in, everybody. Let's just let's just while we're sitting here, let's just waiting for everybody to kind of get their hashtag in for that first one. We'll give it a we'll give it another couple minutes. We'll tie a jig real quick. Gregory's over there being nosy, noisy pants. Feeding. He's feeding, feeding the dogs junk food off his plate. What he doesn't realize that somebody's gonna get up in the middle of the night and they're gonna step in a pile of something, <laughs> and it ain't gonna be fun, and it ain't gonna be me. Yeah, I can get off of there. So, 205, welcome in. Seen you out in the corner of my eyeball. We're going fishing tomorrow. But it's just going to be me and Gregor's. See, look at there. That one piece of flash was kind of like kinkified. There you go. Give them a little tug and then it'll straighten them out a little bit. See, there you go. Get the light to reflect off that stuff. Right on. So, uh, we got 22 people in here now. Let's try to get it to 25. If we can get it there real quick. How many people we got in this drawing? I didn't even look. look I'm trying to push buttons here. Make it bigger. We got 17. Only 17 people want a guard dog. Out of the 22 people that are in here. Everybody must already have enough. <laughs> Let's do a different one. So, uh, what's everybody's plans for the weekend coming up? Don't forget, tomorrow morning, you can uh, see me right back here doing the same thing I'm doing right now. And that's tying jigs. We're going to have jigs and coffee in the morning as long as I'm still here. So far, the last... Ooh, that jig is an ugly jig. The, uh, I must, I, there's a couple of them I didn't follow the heads very well, but good Lord said that I could wake up this morning, but you never know tomorrow morning. He tried to kill me a couple weeks ago and tried to take me home, but he wasn't ready for me yet. I don't care what you believe, but I believe that I'm here for a reason. Of course, now I got heartburn again, which is a heartburn or am I having angina? And I need to take a nitro? I got a question for you. If I'm on nitro, you know, if I'm on nitro pills, if I'm on nitro in my hot rod, <laughs> eh, I'm all, I'm all nitroed up. The boy is on NOS. Uh... No, I have fun with it and all, but I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, I tried to die. I had a heart attack. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna die. I didn't die. I'm still here. I still got things to do. So I gotta get them done. I just gotta get them done slower. If you uh, just join, please smash the button. Uh, right on. Thank you, Stuart. I'll plan on going fishing and went and caught 
some bluegill and crappie yesterday or today. Sorry, old Dale said that. Right on Dale. I was trying to catch that comment and it ran away too fast. Then I poked myself with my scissors. Here, look. Dale said he went fishing and caught some bluegill and some crappie today. Well, I'm planning on going fishing tomorrow because we went out for an hour today after we went and put the bottom in. Oh, hey, we put the bottom in back in the boat. But after we did that, we went fishing for a minute. And Gregory caught like, I don't know, eight or nine bluegill and three or four bass and no crappie. I caught a bass. <laughs> he was he was using a spinner bait. He was all, he was just casting reel and casting reel and casting. I went out there. I threw my bobber out with my jig on it. And I sat there and watched Gregory fish. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and draw for that first one. We might as well, right? So let's uh, we'll give it 10 more seconds if you ain't got your hashtag guard dog in. Seven, sixes, five, four, three, two. One draw. Let's see who is gonna be. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Don Caswell. Well, Don, congratulations. Is it Caswell or Coswell? I don't know how big. I guess you can't tell me you're not on here. <laughs> D O N. C A S W E L L. All right, there's yours. Now, Don, you want a specific color? Are you still in here, Don? We'll see if he wants a specific color. Retired Rick. We well, got three more chances, Rick. Better get, better get your hashtag in again here in a minute. We're going to do it again. All right, Don. What do you, what color do you want? You want a specific color? We got red, blue, green, or orange. Give him a minute to. Are you saying no, sir, to color? Anyways. Any color. All right. Well, then what we'll do is we'll set your aside and we'll see if, if anybody else wants a specific color, then we'll let them have that. And then the color that's left is yours, bud. I appreciate it. I know there's a little bit of time delay between me asking questions and y'all getting to type it in and, and what have you. So I lost my scissors. Oh, there they are. I was like, where'd my scissors go? Any color works. Right on, Dawn. We got you, bud. All right. So, let me uh, get this one started here real quick. Get my flash tied on there. All right, let's go back in and go like this. Oh, darn you, day. Go all the way back in it and type it all back in again. Whoops. Organization looks to the living for people struggling to find work. Or over the time to do is provide a safe place 
for inflation or keeping employment or even new employment to be able to come and see what is available. All right, there you go. You can start entering comments or entering guard dog. <laughs> I guess I didn't put the hashtag this time. Oh, I got indigestion again. I know I do. I ate salsa for dinner. Along with asparagus and mushrooms and the center cut of a pork chop with no fat, which was like, the uh, I've had chicken the last eight days. JBT! Rebel, welcome in. I know I miss some people probably because I always do. I did. I said we wasn't going to. I wasn't going to tie jigs, but it's in my nature when I'm sitting here to tie jigs. <laughs> so, but who's going to argue with tying jigs? I mean, drop that in all that trash. <laughs> Oh, I already had, oh, I had some of those, but I had them with the green head. I mean, with the pink head. I tied a couple with the green head. Can't see. When I get so small like that, I just can't see that. What does it say? We got how many entries? Oh, I can't see it. I'm so blind. Come on. I need a guard dog to complete my army. That's what JBT said. All right. I'm going to go in here and see. I can't see how many it says. I'm so blind. Hey, just leave the baby alone. She, we went and got the baby fixed today. We, we uh, took her in so they can snip her baby maker. And then they also fixed her cherry eyeball because she had their third eyelid was like popped out. It looked like a little cherry spot. So they fixed that. And uh, now she's all like whiny, whiny. She's all like whiny, whiny. See, I can't even see what it says when I blow it up on my phone. Yeah, anyways. All right. Do this one, and then we'll go in and give that one away. The next one. we got four of them to give away, guys. So this is to help promote... Uh, Monty and his uh, guard dog. I uh, I am in a wheelchair, so if you didn't know that, I'm in a wheelchair. See, do a wheelie. So, um, and uh, so the guard dog to me makes sense just because I can't get to my rod in time, so I miss them short strikes sometimes. And I've been using it, and I'm I'm pleased with it. Uh, my you know, my, like I said before, uh. I've had I had some concerns, so I did my research and did my investigation, and I'm good with them. So, you know, I I had to figure it out for myself if it was something that I wanted to use or not, and I really like them. So, you know, if I like a product, I'm going to help support the man that, you know, does it, and then uh, I'm going to share him out, and we're all going to be a family of fishing fools and we're going to share like and love each other and if there's any drama then i just kick you out of my thing and the drama will be done because after i had my heart attack i realized that life is short i thought i was going to live to be an old man and it almost killed me now i just <laughs> I kind of, kind of got a I don't care attitude. I mean, I always had a kind of I don't care attitude, but now I really got a, yeah, go jump in the river attitude and see if I come and help you attitude. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or not, but if you got friends that you want to support, 
you should support them. And if your friends make something, you should support them. And if they're rich and famous and they're making millions of dollars, you should still support them even if you're on the bottom of the totem pole. So this is like right now, here's my thing is. I've had such a hard time this last two weeks trying to get rod holders done and out with my health and my heart attack. I was so worried and stressing out over trying to get the ones that were already ordered and paid for out that it was making me have undue stress. So I've decided that y'all want a rod holder? That's fine. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to get it to you in two days. It's going to take me a week plus. <laughs> I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to kill myself again. You want jigs? I'll get you jigs. I got two orders of jigs right now that I got to get done. And I'm sitting in here tying jigs. And these are for myself. But I was tying jigs earlier. I got, I'm, after I'm done with the live here, I'm going to go out in the shop. And I'm going to pour up a bunch of 3 sixteenths. I got a uh, 3 sixteenths pro mold. So I'm going to tie up me. Like I think I can pour seven or eight at a time. I can't remember what it holds. But I'm going to pour up a few hundred three sixteenths and I'm going to get them colored tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a bunch of tying on the live tomorrow morning. So come in and just to let you all know, you're going to be uh, I'm going to be tying Daryl's uh, stuff. So y'all want to see the skipjack jigs that Daryl's getting. You come on into the show tomorrow and I'll show you because I'll be tying them. I got to get them colored tonight. So. I'm behind. I'm falling behind. I was tying up some. I tied up some of them jigs for a guy, and then he decided that he was. He just didn't want them or whatever, or he just decided not to, you know. So I just finished filling the box and decided I was. I was going to keep them for myself, but then I decided I was going to sell them. So then I started the little box. So if y'all wasn't in here earlier, here's a big. Here's a big box that I started. So. This ain't the box I did the other, you know, the box I had like a week ago. I already done sent that off. This is the box I started, and I was going to, some of like the bottom half was all these down here. Well, all these down here were going to be for somebody, but he decided he didn't want them. So, too big a hook or something, I don't know. Anyways, it's fine with me. Good crappie jig. But I tied up these right here. So, the 922 says, Daryl's got a new address. I'll send it to you. I ain't falling for that one, buddy. <laughs> nope, ain't happening. <laughs> uh, Missy, welcome in. I know there's some other people that have popped in. I, well, I didn't see because we're up to 31. Right on. All right. So, we're going to give it three more minutes. And then we're going to draw this second one. So y'all got three minutes. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. We can tie a jig. Plenty enough of that quick. Oh, dee do dee do. Hopefully, y'all's TV ain't on full volume. If you're watching on your TV, because you'll probably hear what we're watching, I'll probably get a copyright <laughs> hearing it in the background. Y'all don't know, my wife is deaf. She don't wear a hearing aid when she's at home. So uh, the TV is always loud. And I got it. I mean, I'm not going to deprive her of watching her TV. But Turn your TV down and you won't hear it. <laughs> Uh, probably just sounds like a bunch of racket. All right, let's get this whipped off. Hey, how'd you get in there? Ah, oh, there's a string in there. Rosie, that's my elbow. Quit licking me. Get me all, JC, look at that. You got me all discombobulated. 
You want to go outside, not you ate. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. She wanted to go outside. Gregory started walking door to door and she took off running 100 mile an hour. All right. Let's draw for this one. You guys got 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Yeah, blast them office. Let's see who gets it this time. Joshua! Woohoo, Joshua! Hey, there's Mark. Welcome in, Mark. All right, Joshua. I got your address. I can't never remember how they spell his last name. So P E R H A N. P E R H A N. All right. All right, bud. So which one do you want? What color? You can have the red, the blue, the green, or the orange. Why does it always hang on me and then flip? I know, 922. <laughs> There's a couple other people in my in the past stream that, like, I kept thinking, it, oh, Don R, used to, it, it, would, it would stop right on Don R and then flip over to somebody else. It did that once or twice on him. I thought it was kind of funny. Joshua said blue. I kind of figured. All right, so we're going to put the blue one. There's the blue one. It's going in Joshua's envelope. And then I'll throw another sticker in there for you, bud. I know they'll fit in there. They'll cram it in there. See, it fits. All right. There's Joshua's. Woohoo, Joshua. Great job there. Oh, let's see. Go back in, David, to this. I know it's going to kick me back every time to the, where I got to pick it all over again. All right. This time we'll do the hashtag. G Dog. Oh, well, I guess that whole time my elbow's in the way. Y'all sitting there looking at my elbow or my armpit. <laughs> All right, let's let that run for a few minutes. Mom and I can't even speak. Mom and son train adventures. Uncle Don. There's Uncle Don. Hey, Uncle Don, how you doing, bud? I miss somebody. I know I miss somebody. I always miss somebody. I said, Mark. This time I caught Mark. The last live I didn't yesterday. I didn't get, didn't see him. Oh, there's no BS. Hey, no BS. Man, y'all talk so fast in chat. I can't. Rebel. I hope I got everybody. But probably don't. Ernie. Ernie Brown. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Oh, I feel better, but I'm trying to get back to my old self. But, man, every time I get excited and start doing stuff, I get all like, hey, wait a minute. Is this begging? Can't say I'm coming to join you, honey, because she's in there. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me, guys. I'm telling you what. I'm going to eat right the rest of my life. I'm not going to cheat on my food. I'm going to get skinny. I'm going to do everything I need to do to help. Yeah, no more bacon. Yep, no more bacon. I'm going to just, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. It'll be, it'll be rough, but I don't, I know they say I could have a, you know, like 
you know, once a, you know, once in a while and what, but I, I just rather just, if I'm going to quit something, I'm going to quit it cold turkey. <laughs> and that hurts my heart that I got to get no bacon. I know it really hurt my heart if I did get bacon. <laughs> I'm just scared of dying, y'all. I, well, I ain't really scared of dying. I'm scared of leaving my old lady with these boys. Y'all met Gregory. He's nice and peaceful and quiet and calm for the most part. But he's stubborn. He's ornery. And then we got Matthew. Matthew's just, man, Matthew, Matthew just, Matthew's Matthew. Matthew has Asperger's, and if y'all don't know, Asperger's is no filter and he says what we all think which makes people very uncomfortable sometimes <laughs> so like if he sees somebody that's really big he pretends to tell them how they could lose weight or or you know that they got that way because of this reason it's not it's not usually ends well but you know i mean you can most people can just see matthew and they'll be like you know know that they're he's got some learning disability there but everybody is everybody everybody is is got their own personality and matthew has a very big one and we love him for it sometimes it gets him in trouble with people and we have to no he's not meaning nothing he just Talks crap a lot. <laughs> Mr. Tolley. Randall, I hope I said hi to you, but I don't remember if I did or not. My two boys are autism, and Anthony is very smart and has no filter either. Ray is a love bug and loves people. Yeah, Gregory loves people. It just Gregory don't talk to people. <laughs> But Matthew loves people, but Matthew talks to everybody about all kinds of things. So, the wall. yeah, I don't know why I tied that color. I didn't want it that color. I wasn't thinking. I was still picking up that black. I was going to do something different. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put that one over there out of my way. I'll put that one in my box anyways. Add to my collection. Okay, so recap tomorrow morning we're doing jigs and coffee i got new coffee cups they're on the uh i guess it's called teespring store or whatever and you just go in there and you look up double hook angling and you'll find the coffee cup if i can get some more designs going we might get some more stuff in in on that and do our thing with that but I'm not too worried about getting a bunch of t-shirts and stuff like that out or anything. I'm not I'm not out all to sell you a bunch of stuff. I just like I mean coffee cups are good something practical and if you're going to have a coffee cup, you might as well have a good coffee cup. But if y'all do want to buy a hat or a t-shirt or jigs or whatever, it's just I mean it's easy as double hook angling at Gmail. You can just message me. That's the easiest way. And if you want jigs, just tell me the head color, the body color, the tail color, and the size of the jig. Okay. What I was grabbing for was the first time was going to be this color. Because this is this is pink atomic chicken. And then they make atomic chicken that's orange atomic chicken. I kind of like this color myself. Gives you that flash of pink. But still got that sartreuse, so it's a good transition from a pink head to sartreuse tail or sartreuse head and a pink tail. Ooh, that's let let's do that next. I'll do that one. We'll do the opposite of this, and then we'll draw. So, so there's the pink head, the atomic chicken body, and the green tail. Now we'll do. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh. Green head, pink tail. So get a pink feather. Get your. So, ah, get off of my finger.
Get hooked. Jay, how you doing? John Boy? Boy, we got 44 people in here. I can't believe it. I'm missing everybody because I'm tying jigs again. I got all kinds of people coming in. I'm probably missing them all. I apologize, guys. I said I wasn't going to talk, tie no jigs so I could pay attention to the chat, but man, I just. I'm, I'm a jig tying crazy this time of year. I'm telling you. We're not going to worry about no flash and this and. Let me make this one simple. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Now, just by swapping the front and the rear, got a whole different jig there. Whip it. Whip it good. Ah! See, look at that thing. So there's the one color. And there's the other. Are they the same or are they different? <laughs> See, it makes good, makes good uh, to where you can use the same chenille and swap and do that kind of stuff. So I know I missed all kinds of peoples. All right, so we... Let's give it another minute or two, and then we'll draw. Well, let's do another jig. Let's do. I'm trying to use up all my jig heads over here, but I really don't want to because I want to finish off those in the right color. Are we going to balance up here without falling over? <laughs> We got the we got the leaning tire of totes and boxes container whatever you want to call it because <laughs> I need to get down to my other let's do something let's do something redunculous okay we're gonna do something redunculous all right anybody goes chase stripers or hybrids let's get a jig out here you ready? How you like that? Is that a big jig or is that a big jig? You got a big jig, boy. <laughs> and for a big jig, you need a couple feathers. Get that to line up better there. Okay, so you need a couple feathers. I feel some junk in there from the like the housing of the feather so let's get this let me get this bad boy tied up get your wrap on there i'm gonna go about yay long right like yonder hey gregory dog okay so we got that much white in there then we're gonna grab this old nasty tore up wrecked stuff pull it out kind of straighten some of it up Great. put that down that side Aiden. Dog. okay thank you put that one down that side All right, now find my big old silver. Is you big? Are you large? No, you're medium. Oh, I'm getting a drawer. That's a medium. There's a large. I'm down to one bag of large. I better get some more of that. CVA. Oh, that's my son calling. Now me call Timmy. 
Call Timmy and tell him I'm alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hung up on my son. All right, with these things, you got to kind of like get a little rap ridiculous because you need to build up that head. I'm be on here another 15 minutes or 20 minutes because I'm fixing to draw another one, y'all. Nothing important. Call when you're done. Well, you if it ain't important, I'll forget. You forgot to tell them. What, that I was going to do a lie? Mm -hmm. well, I didn't know I had to report to my child. I mean, I had a heart attack, but I'm not an invalid yet. All right. There you go. Look at that big old D. <laughs> these these are these are awesome jigs they're huge you could cast them a quarter mile but unless you're chasing stripers or you got a really big bobber to, i mean you the crop I, I go fishing where there's crappie big enough to eat that thing but that is a half ounce that actually that might be a three-quarter no that's a half ounce or is that i don't know i'd have I got, I got, I'm not good with my sizes that big, but that's a big dude right there, let me tell you. All right, let's go out and draw this and get everybody another one out here. All right, we got 32 people in there. You got 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, draw. Who's going to win this one? Who's going to win this one? John Boy. No, it's John Boy. John Boy, I think I I might have your stuff, but I don't know if I have your stuff. Um, I can't remember if I got you on Facebook because I can't never remember the names that go with the YouTube channels. Um, so... If we're friends on Facebook, message me your address. If not, doublehookangling at Gmail. Send me your address. I'm going to write on this, John Boy. Now, what color do you want, too? No way bacon is good for you. <laughs> no, bacon going to kill you. Tried to kill me. That's what the doctors told me anyways. Are they lying to me? They're probably lying to me. They're doctors. <laughs> uh, Solo Texan. Stonefly. Was John Boy still in here? Yeah, I need to tell you what he colored. I just want to know what color, John Boy. If you want a specific color. Oh, just give you one. oh he says it doesn't matter what color. All right. Um, like I said, I also can't remember if I have your address or not. So if you could send me your address again. And if I did have it on Messenger, I don't know if I still have it on Messenger. All right, let's go up and clear this out. And do it one more time. Oh, well, I screwed that up, but I'm leaving it. Just make it different. My dyslexia kicked in, and I'll put guard, da, da, guard, guard, da, da, 
Garden dog. Died. Yeah, we'll make it challenging on you. I'm leaving it. Put it in. <laughs> We're going to make you guys work for it. <laughs> <You're gonna have laughs> to... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but that's too funny. I'm leaving it. My my whole brain, sometimes it doesn't work. That's why I'm real bad at typing because I type in stuff wrong. <laughs> oh, hot flashes, hot flashes. <laughs> Uh, all right. So we're gonna. Do, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna type you uh, for, up for. I'm going fishing tomorrow. I'm going. It's gonna be. It's gonna be windy. They're talking like thirty mile an hour winds. But you know what that means? Thirty mile an hour winds it means you can cast a bobber a long ways if it's over your shoulder. <laughs> 30 mile an hour winds tomorrow, Gregory. Gregory's my weather man. He always tells me the weather. He'll come in and he'll be like, hey, Dad. Hey, there's Matt. Want to be? Jimmy? We got 54 people in here now. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. This is kind of my way to give back to the community and use a great product besides my own to do it. So if y'all really interested in the guard dog get your this is the last one i'm giving away these things is 25 dollars a piece and i gave away four of them tonight so let y'all figure that out this means i really love y'all and so does monty from guard dog he really loves y'all too or he wouldn't have made a product and tried to i mean well, i don't know maybe <laughs> i really don't know why monty made the product he kind of told me but i forgot i got too much gray hair but you know, Monty just wants to wants to help everybody catch fish, and that's all it is. That's what this community is about: is everybody catching fish. I don't care if you're fishing with a cane pole. My 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 dad, granddaddy's cane pole is right there. Oh, there was Gregory. Greg, you want a cookie? You can have. Hey, one. Gregory, Mom said you got a cookie. You can go get a cookie and show everybody on on uh, YouTube and. That you're eating mama's cookies. Oh, well, yeah, you're gonna have to eat my the cookies mom mom made. I can't eat no more. I feel so deprived. I'm I'm telling you guys, the doctor said if I don't lose weight and do this and do that, I'm gonna be dead. So I'm gonna tell you what, y'all gonna see something crazy. You're gonna see a my 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 body trainer, personal trainer stuff from back in the day came coming in. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that cookie. Look at that cookie. That's all y'all get to see of the cookie. I mean, he's he's in and out. He's gone. <laughs> you know, Gregory, he... Well, I had rubber skirting. Yeah, I hear you over there, Gregory. He's in, I can hear him smacking. Well, David, you got a mess of you know what up here, and you got stuff just laid out every freaking which way. Well, I was trying to find that rubber skirt that I had. I know I still had some left. Now we got to disturb the leaning tire of B hooks everywhere. Get into this box. Get some more out. Stay. All right. Well, I was looking for is my little rubber legs. Gig, yeah, good morning or evening. I almost said good morning. Wrong show, Dave. That's tomorrow morning. <laughs> but if y'all ain't subscribed to me, please do so. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not begging. I'm just saying if y'all going to take the time to come in here and win something from the channel, then I think you should be subscribed as well. So one of these days I'll make it to where it's like subscribers only or something. I found out what fans only is and I was like so embarrassed. I was like, oh, my gosh. 
I, I ain't never been into that risque, you know, adult stuff. I'm married for 30 years. I got more excitement than what a man needs, <laughs> especially with a weak heart. I didn't, that, that's just, that's just, we got some jigs going here today. We got a little humor coming back. Dave, Dave's getting there slowly. I still feel awful. I still feel tired and exhausted. I still get winded. Yeah, they didn't have no slip floats at your store. They've been doing that lately. So, I, I mean, I've been using the cigar float. The thing is, with the cigar float, I'll tell you something, Matt. With that cigar float, with your rod tip. Here, let me get my let me get my little, my little rod so I can demonstrate. So, when you're sitting there fishing, and you're fishing with your rod, right? You're like, take, your, take the end of your rod and go like this. And just sweep it about that much, about a foot. And it pulls that that cigar bobber will just lay and pull over it. Pull that jig up, and then it'll just reset, resettle. And that's what I do with the cigar boat floats. Because in all reality, a cigar float is one of my favorite. For the simple fact is, I was pushing my trash down with the rod handle. The cigar float's one of my favorites because I usually only fish two feet underneath my cigar float. So when you're fishing that shallow, a cigar float is perfect. You don't need a, a slip bobber. But when you're going deep, you need a slip bobber so you can get that, that upward lift as you're pulling too. So there's 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 uh, reasons of using them for you know when it, you know any whatever you're using them for. I mean, there's a reason for the cigar and a reason for the slip. So this is my number one jig. And I stopped putting the purple on there because it just looked good to us. I don't I mean it didn't seem to care with the fish. I mean, I was throwing them with the purple and without the purple, and they were just hitting it. I mean, I think it's just the gray, the shaddy color. They're really after that. But those also are some great skipjack jigs. It's just with skipjacks, you need eight or bigger. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to be tying up some of those that are 3 sixteenths. So but we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this other guard dog away in just a few couple minutes here so if y'all haven't got it uh your uh, guard dod <laughs> put in yeah well this is the last one i got to give away so because yeah this is the last one i got to give away so but like i said guys if you haven't um you know, subscribe to Monty, the uh, Guard Dog Automatic Fish Hooker. There's several of the uh, Guard Dog Pro staff that have channels that they all do, like the uh, Guard Dog Show and stuff. Like they get up and chat and talk about things and fishing and stuff like that. Cold, Cold Creek Billy, welcome in. Um, you probably have been in here a minute and I just didn't see you. Sorry, bud. Dave, you don't think that a cigar will have too much shadow? Nope. Sometimes that cigar float, here's the thing is, that's a, I've, I've been fishing for crappie in just the last month, and I've had the crappie come up and smack the cigar float. I've been thinking about actually putting an Aberdeen hook on there just to, you know, hook the hook on the eye of the cigar float. Um, we, uh, we use cigar floats probably, or I use cigar floats probably 80% of the time. 10% um, of the time I'll use a slip float. But that's if I'm going to be fishing like five or six foot deeper, deeper with my bobber. And usually I'm not doing that. Um, I live in the middle of South Central Kansas. As far as you could cast offshore here is probably, you're only probably in four or five feet of water anyways. So, I mean, there's places where it's a little deeper than that. But, um, you know, I mean, I live in Kansas. You can, you can walk a quarter mile out into Cheney Lake and only be chest deep. So, <laughs> Rosie, quick. But, all right, guys, let's go up in here and let's just go ahead and draw for this. Uh, hopefully, y'all stay after we draw and we will we'll close the show. I'm drawing it right now. I hit the button accidentally, so we're going for it. Hope you got it in. 
<laughs> Mr. Tully. Mr. Tully. Can't play. I didn't. Um, John Boy, I you said you didn't care what color neither. I think. Um, but Mr. Tully, do you got a color that you prefer? I got red, orange, or green. And then I'll need your address. <clears throat> Send it to me at double hook angling at Gmail. <clears throat> So we'll give Mr. Tolley, if he's still in here, we'll give him a minute or two to answer. I don't have big enough for an eighth ounce except for cigar floats. Yeah, the problem is finding slip bobber. If you're going to get a slip bobber that'll hold an eighth ounce, get the foam ones. Don't get a cork one. I mean, uh, a balsa wood one. It seems like the foam ones hold. I mean, they're not as good a bobber, but it seems like they hold up to eighth better. But yeah, on the I on my eights, uh, almost always on my eights, I use the the yellow cigar bobbers from Walmart, and they'll stick out of the water about that much. So, and then when you go to pull them, they'll the it, it wants to pull it up on the water surface, and uh, you know, I mean. <laughs> It moves the jig up at the same time as sweeps the jig. So, but Mr. Tolley must not still be in here. Um, hopefully, he is. But I guess you'll just get a random one. Oh, somebody just sent me a Gmail. Okay. Uh... I'm here. Okay, Mr. Tolley, what color did you want? Do you want... Was letting the dogs out. Okay, Mr. Tolley. You want green, orange, or red? Don't need to spend money. Just do, do the same thing as cheaper stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I mean, if you're really a stickler for cork or balsa wood or whatever, uh, corks and stuff, you know, I mean, the, the good thing about a balsa wood float is you could cast them long ways. The the little foam slip floats, they're not as good, but you can take that cigar float and you can make it into a slip float. It just won't slip as fast or as much because you have the friction of the line, but just leave that cigar float, leave that pin out and cocked and, you know, you still have a slip. But yeah, there's no need to spend the money on. Oh, that's why I buy. Uh, I'll get on eBay. I don't even go to Walmart it, it, except for when they have sales. And they did have uh, their clearance sale that they have every spring at Walmart on their fishing stuff. They, uh, we uh, went in there. Me and Greg seen it that uh, they had that sale going on. So we took and uh, we bought like oh, probably 15 packages of the mixed bag where you get like two of the large three medium and four smalls or three four mediums and three smalls or something like that but we bought that pack of bobbers and and uh i used the big cigar floats and in, in uh, on the bigger jigs and with the eights i use the yellows from walmart so that's kind of what i do for jigging um like i said though i do use slip floats but most of the time let me see if my Matter of fact, that bag from Walmart was sitting right there. So, at, at Walmart, I guess it's 
it's uh, two big ones, one, two, three mediums and three smalls. So this is the bag that I'm referring to. And when I fit, when I fish the eights, I'm throwing. Let me just open a bag. Is there a bag? Oh, there's some open. So when I'm throwing eights, I'm throwing th like this size right here. So this is the size that I'm throwing when I'm throwing eights. So, and then uh, there's times where if I got two eights tied on, I'll throw this thing. And I, it does not affect, I have crappie coming up and hitting these on the top of the water. So, but I even bought some, some of their little keychains that they had. <laughs> and they had these things marked down to 50 cents. I will put hooks on that thing for 50 cents. <laughs> but no, I got them just to give away. So like, but now like a couple of these is really tempting like that. That would be a good jerk bait. <laughs> and put a couple of hooks on that. That'd be a perfect little jerk bait. I would I hate that tail though. I would tie a new tail. I'd cut that stuff off and just tie a new tail. But as you can see, I go bobber crazy when I go here. Let me show you. Like, yeah. So like from here to here, well, from here to here is nothing but bobbers. <laughs> but when you're getting them for a dollar a bag, I bought I bought a whole bag. <laughs> I mean, you got to have bobbers. You're going to lose them eventually. I mean, worst case scenario, they sit in the garage most of the summer and, you know, <laughs> Uh, well, Cindy, sorry, hon, this central time and Eastern time and all that other time gets to people sometimes, I think, but well, y'all, I appreciate each and every one of you being here. I really do. Um, Mr. Tully, um, send me your address so I can get that out to you and everybody. I will get them out, um, tomorrow. So we'll probably be after a live in the morning. So, but um, I will be live at 8.05 tomorrow morning, Central Standard Time. And I appreciate y'all coming in. I appreciate everybody that was here. Y'all are awesome. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, Cindy. You do... Yeah. Cindy has been doing really well lately with her YouTube and catching a bunch of fish and She's back to doing some lives, so you check her out. But make sure you guys check out everybody. Everybody that's in here, you guys are all awesome. Um, and when you guys are in my live, remember you share out your stuff and share out everybody else's stuff. And like I said, y'all are awesome. I don't know what else to say. So, hey, y'all, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to go spend the rest of the evening with Naomi. And y'all take care and have a happy day, happy night, happy tomorrow. Let God, you know, as long as God lets us wake up in the morning, we'll be all right. If not, I guess we'll be all right anyway. So, because we won't know. <laughs> what, dear? Tomorrow's good Friday. Yep, tomorrow's good Friday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tomorrow's good Friday. So, ha happy good Friday, everybody, tomorrow. Hope y'all be blessed and don't do, you know, a bunch of crazy eating and all that. So, we'll see y'all later. And we're going fishing. Meet me. My best friend Mike.